Welcome to the Bravura Security Demo Series featuring Bravura Safe. This video will walk you through the process of activating your Bravura Safe account and inviting a trusted contact to your safe for emergency access. For added security, Bravura Safe applies a three step process for onboarding new users invite, accept, and confirm. First, you'll receive an email invitation to a team from a team owner. In this demonstration, Fred is the team owner that has invited Gary to the team. To accept the invitation and create your account, click Join Team Now. A website tab opens to the Bravura Safe URL. Click Create Account. Here, enter your name, then enter a master password. Your master password is the primary method for accessing your safe. It's important that your master password is both strong and memorable. Type it again. Enter a hint that will help you remember it. And then click Submit. Gary can now log in using his master password. He will also receive a Welcome to Bravura Safe email. He can click the Login button in the email or continue from the web page to log into Bravura Safe. Depending on team policies set by the team owner, you might see additional messages here. Your email address will be filled in for you and remembered by default. Enter your master password and click Login. If your team has two-step login enabled, the next time you log in, you'll have to enter a six-digit verification code obtained from your email or authenticator application. Enter the code and click Continue. Your safe opens to the My Safe view with the All Items filter set. And logging in triggers your acceptance of the invitation to the team. However, you can't access the new team just yet. I'll click on the Teams drop-down. Gary was invited to the Finance Information Systems team, but it's not listed here yet. Let's see how Fred, the team owner, can confirm Gary's membership. The team owner will receive an email requesting that they confirm you as a team member. You have to be confirmed to a team before you can access the team safe. In Fred's safe on the People page for the Finance Information Systems team, we can see that Gary has a status of invited. If I refresh the page, we can see that his status has been updated to accepted. To confirm you as a member, the team owner will click on the Accepted filter, if desired, locate the accepted user, click the gear drop-down, select Confirm, and then click the Confirm button. Gary now has access to the team and any collections to which he was granted access. Let's go back to Gary's view and open Gary's email to see his confirmation message. Here's the email Gary receives informing him that he has been confirmed to the team. Now we'll return to Gary's web safe. Any collections, logins, and other sensitive items being shared with Gary by this team will now appear in his safe. Shared items have the name of the team beside their name. To view the list of items included in other teams, navigate to the team safe. There are two ways to do this. From the My Safe view, you can click the Teams drop-down and select the name of the available team. Gary only has the one. Or you can click the Teams tab, and then select the team here. Again, Gary currently has only one team. As a member of the team, depending on your user type and granted permissions, you can now view, add, use, edit, and delete shared items and collections. Next, you need to set up emergency access by adding a trusted emergency contact to your safe. This is a really important step. Click on the Profile menu. Select Account Settings. And then select Emergency Access. If something happens to you, your trusted emergency contact, for example your immediate supervisor, can initiate a secure process to gain emergency access to your safe. This is also valuable if you're unavailable during holidays or extended leave. Bravura Security recommends adding multiple emergency contacts, especially if you hold accounts that are vital to business function. To invite a trusted colleague to be your emergency contact, click Add Emergency Contact. 
Enter the email address for each person with the same access that you want to invite. You can invite them all at once. Next, specify the user access level you want them to have. View gives them read access to your safe items and passwords. And Takeover allows them to create a master password to obtain both read and write access to your safe. Select a wait time required before the trusted emergency contact is automatically granted access. Then click Save. The invitation is valid for five days. The contact will be shown with an invited status card. This allows you to keep track of the status of multiple contacts. Like inviting users to a team, Rivera Safe also applies a three-step process for adding trusted emergency contacts. Invite, accept, confirm. Gary has invited Bonnie. Let's jump over to Bonnie's view. Your specified emergency contact will receive an email invitation. Bonnie clicks the Become Emergency Contact button within the email to launch Brevera Safe. To accept the invitation, she needs to log into her Brevera Safe account or create an account if she doesn't have one. Bonnie enters her master password and then clicks Log In. Since Bonnie has logged in before, she is asked to input a verification code as part of her two factor authentication. This verification code is either sent to her email after she logs in or generated using an active authenticator app, as in this example. Bonnie gets the verification code, enters it, and clicks Continue. Logging into her Brevera Safe account accepts the emergency contact invitation and sends an email back to Gary requesting his confirmation. Gary needs to confirm Bonnie's acceptance within Brevera Safe before she can be added as an emergency contact to his account. Let's go back to Gary's view. Open his email and look at the email notification verifying that Bonnie has accepted Gary's invitation. Then return to Gary's web safe to confirm Bonnie's acceptance. She now appears with an accepted status card. To confirm the accepted contact, Gary clicks here and selects Confirm. He follows any on-screen instructions and then clicks Confirm. Bonnie's status card now shows only her access level. We'll go back once more to Bonnie's view and have a look at her confirmation email. Bonnie has been confirmed as an emergency access contact for Gary. That's it for account setup. You're ready to start using Brevera Safe. This concludes our walkthrough of activating your Brevera Safe account and inviting an emergency contact. Thanks for watching. Brevera Security offers a range of demonstration and training options. Click the links in the description below to watch more demo videos or to register for training. Visit our website to learn more.